The U.S. Navy just commissioned the future USS Cooperstown LCS-23 as the newest Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship or LCS on May 8 in New York City. This accomplishment places the ship that the Lockheed Martin-led team built into active service with the U.S. Navy. Cooperstown is the first naval ship named after Cooperstown, New York, and honors the 70 Hall of Famers who served the United States during wartime in various conflicts spanning the Civil War, World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. The Littoral Combat Ship is a fast, agile, mission-focused platform designed to operate in nearshore environments, winning against 21st century coastal threats. The LCES is capable of supporting forward presence, maritime security, sea control, and deterrence. We are America's away team, and we are always ready to respond to action, said Commander Daxton Moore, commanding officer of Cooperstown. I'm incredibly proud of the sailors aboard Cooperstown who responded in the middle of the night to aid a Marine in distress. I continue to be impressed by the crew's selfless actions. The USS Cooperstown LCS-23 has a speed that exceeds 40 knots, a flight deck that is one and a half times other American warships, hangar space for two MH-60 helicopters, and accommodations for 98 sailors. It is 387 feet long. Built by Lockheed Martin and Fincantieri Marinette Marine in Marinette, Wisconsin, Cooperstown was launched on January 19, 2019, christened on February 29, 2020, completed acceptance trials on December 14, 2020, and delivered to the U.S. Navy on September 20, 2022. The USS Cooperstown's commissioning is a proud moment for us all, made possible by the tireless efforts of our dedicated crew, said Cooperstown's commanding officer, Commander Daxton Moore. They have demonstrated remarkable teamwork and a relentless commitment to excellence, working hard to ensure that this ship is ready. We are honored to carry the name Cooperstown into the fleet. Cincinnati Reds catcher Johnny Bench, who was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1989, presented the long glass during the ceremony. The crew was the host for a week-long series of events celebrating the ship, its namesake city, and the community it honors. The speed, flexibility, and lethality the Cooperstown will bring to the fleet is unmatched. With a unique set of capabilities, LCS-23 is ready for today and tomorrow's threats, ensuring Navy sailors stay ahead of ready for any mission anywhere, said Chauncey McIntosh, Vice President and General Manager of Integrated Warfare Systems and Sensors at Lockheed Martin. Unique among combat ships, LCEs, is deployed today for close-to-shore missions and is a growing and relevant part of the Navy's fleet. Its speed, strength, and versatility make it a critical tool to help sailors achieve their missions. The crew gives the ship its own personality and warfighting spirit. The men and women of USS Cooperstown exemplify patriotism, grit, and what this great country of ours stands for. I am extremely proud to have all of the USS Cooperstown crew as shipmates," said Commander Daxton Moore. The USS Cooperstown LCS-23 is a part of the Freedom Class LCS. This cutting-edge vessel embodies the Navy's dedication to maintaining a formidable presence in littoral regions. With a length of 387 feet and a displacement of over 3,500 tons, the USS Cooperstown is well-equipped to execute diverse missions, including anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and mine countermeasures. The ship's sleek tremor and hull design enhances stability and maneuverability, making it highly capable of operating in challenging sea conditions. Furthermore, the USS Cooperstown's modular design enables swift reconfiguration and adaptability allowing for deploying various mission packages tailored to specific operational requirements.
Equipped with advanced combat systems, the USS Cooperstown LCS-23 is armed with a range of surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles, and anti-submarine torpedoes. Its sophisticated radar system, electronic warfare capabilities, and state-of-the-art command and control suite enable seamless communication and coordination with other naval assets, greatly enhancing situational awareness and decision-making capabilities. The ship's impressive capabilities are further augmented by its capacity to embark on various manned and unmanned vehicles, including helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, and unmanned surface vehicles or USVs. These assets extend the ship's operational reach and provide additional reconnaissance, surveillance and engagement capabilities. The USS Cooperstown represents a significant leap forward in the U.S. Navy's naval capabilities, bolstering its capacity to project power and maintain maritime superiority in littoral environments. As global tensions persist in various regions, this advanced warship serves as a testament to the United States' commitment to protecting its interests, promoting stability, and ensuring the safety of its allies. In the years ahead, the USS Cooperstown LCES-23 expected will play a vital role in safeguarding American interests and preserving global peace and security. The ship's launch exemplifies the ongoing dedication and innovation within the United States Navy as it adapts to the evolving challenges of the 21st century. With its advanced capabilities and formidable presence, the USS Cooperstown will undoubtedly contribute to the Navy's mission of protecting and defending the nation's maritime interests. Freedom Variant Littoral Combat Ships have supported the Navy on various missions, including several counter-illicit drug trafficking in the Caribbean and Eastern Pacific, resulting in hundreds of millions of dollars in narcotic seizures. Most recently, the Freedom-class Littoral Combat Ship, for the first time, has deployed to U.S. Sixth Fleet as a measure of assurance for NATO allies and partners in Europe and Africa. Lockheed Martin is in full-rate production and has delivered 13 ships to the U.S. Navy. There are three ships in various stages of production. Next, Cooperstown will sail to its home port of Mayport, Flaw, 